just going to look to create a recording here on showing you how to create text that's three-dimensional and has different orientations. So here we go into your shape menu, grab the text tool, type in something that you're going to use. Maybe I'll just type in dog. Why not? And normally you just choose Im Oswald here and choose the bold font. But if that's not an option for you, which in some places it's not, just use Open Sans, which is what you'll be given, and it'll be regular font. I'm going to change our height to 30 millimeters. Make sure text is filled. And then we're going to look at the extrusion, make sure it's turned off. Just don't worry about it and go OK. And so we can place that at the origin. It's always a good spot. And we can work with the letters the way they are. I tend to like them a little bit more bold for a better effect, and so here's how we do that. Um, the point of this exercise is to work with groupings. So first of all, we're going to right-click and explode these. That takes away this initial group. And then for each letter, I'm going to click on it once to make it dotted, and press G for group. Do that again. It actually says make a component, so don't get those two confused. A component is an individual part, and a group is a bunch of them, but... Uh, sort of the same concept. It makes them sort of self-contained, and so they don't interact with each other. All right, so for the D, what we're going to do is, for the dog, first letter is to uh, offset it, and we're going to have to probably do it to the outside and the inside, as this is a uh, object with an inside loop. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to, did it? So to there, it's about six, I don't know. Let's just make an eyeball. Oh, that didn't work. All right, let's just leave it then. Get rid of this one and get rid of this line and let's go to the next one. Push-pull, nope, not push-pull, offset, here we go. Offset, wrong way, try it again. Type in two and hit enter. Because we're working in millimeters, that works just fine. Offset here. I would like to go two in as well here. And then I guess we'll just off offset back out to the edge. And we'll see if that works. Just getting rid of that. And this part. And that gives me a bold letter O. G, double click on it. Offset, type in 2 and hit enter. Double click the middle to make it blue and dotted and hit delete. And I think I do want to make, ah, it doesn't matter. We'll just leave it the way it is. You can change the look of these how you'd like. And the last step then is to make these into three dimensional letters. So here we go. I'm just going to push pull this and maybe I'll push it up 10. You can kind of change your numbers as to s how you'd like the look to be. I might make this one 12, and maybe this last one I might push pull it and make it like 8 or something. And so this is great to practice going in and out of components. So you can see I click on it once and I can select it. I click on it twice, double click. Now I go into that object or component and or group if we kind of call it that. And then I can now edit. Once I'm done in here, I click somewhere outside of it. And that gives me space to work with it. So I can click on it once, press M for move. Uh, for the initial letter of dog, I'm going to turn it. Maybe the other O, I'll turn it a little bit the other way. And maybe I'll slide this so that they're interacting a bit more. And then I will maybe make this G, I don't know which way makes sense. Really skewed, how about? And then I can slide that. And now we've got dog kind of looking a little bit funny, but that's all right. And that can be done for all of the letters that you would have in, and let's say, your name or in some other word that you're interested in. So uh, you can save that up and send it in if you want it printed, 3D Printing Queue. I right, hope that was helpful.